three different methods used in different situations and for different purposes will be presented. Nevertheless, this method share uh, common goals to contribute to new forms of building to perceive and represent space. In the first intervention by Sergio Mendes, variable regulation in urban planning is assumed as a method and technique for different types of operation according to the degrees of uncertainty involved. With the variable regulation, the degree of planning determination depends on the degree of uncertainty dealt with in that particular case. Therefore, the higher the degree of certainty of the structural elements used in the construction of the city, <coughs> the easier the design and the adjustment of space. <coughs> on the other hand, the less uh, consolidated areas should be left open as a far as possible in order to allow for possible interventions. The variable control allows flexible planning, leaving open the possibility, unforeseen opportunities and actions. A new dualism between persistent elements, the first of which is public space, and elements depending on opportunities is established, leading to a myriad of possibilities which are appropriate for the degree of uncertainty present. The plan ceases to be a sweet wall design and uh, um, resemble a guide. Sergio Mendes, graduating in architecture by Escola Superiore di Porto and PhD by the Escola Tecnica Superior um, uh, of Architecture of the University of Valladolid, teaches constructions and the Escola Superiore di Porto. He is a member of the Scientific Council of that school, director of the Architectural Research Laboratory, uh, a study center from NESAP, and develops uh, scientific activity in the area of construction and technology. He is also a professional architect since uh, uh, 1986, having held numerous projects of the diverse scope and was a collaborator of Altino and Sotino between 1987 and 1991. The focus of the second intervention by Vitaly Castro uh, is on drawing. Drawing considered uh, not only as an instrument of perception and understanding of reality, but also as a tool for the construction of knowledge for the identification of new elements of reality that must be understood and problematized. Drawing is assumed as an instrument that facilitates the study of all uh, related of spatial intelligence, the language of expression and the construction of thought, the language of expression of form, through a complex mental process, putting thought, feelings and imagination to good use. Drawing allows you to create, produce, change and develop new knowledge. Tom Castro, graduating architecture by Escola Superior Artistica de Porto, teaches drawing method of representation at the Master Course in Architecture of Escola Superior Artistica de Porto. He is also a professional architect with an um, audit project in different parts of the country, but mainly at the north of Portugal. The third and last intervention by Mike Mackay um, of this first session focuses on the issue of relative placement related to anamorphic projection and perspective techniques. The anamorphic representation techniques allow us to observe the architectural objects in so many different ways, applying to both virtual and physical environments through two or three dimensional printing. Through the association of these techniques with the potentialities of relative, relative uh, positioning, one is able to create dynamic spatial experiences in architecture, to build new environments that result from these changes to the way space is perceived and visualized. Mike McKay, 
uh, is uh, an artist and designer, currently teaching at the University of Kentucky College of Design, after receiving his Bachelor of Architecture from the University of Kentucky and Master's of Architecture from Princeton University. He established MCKS uh, with Liz Swenson. Mm -hmm. MCKS is an interdisciplinary design studio interested in making things. The work from this collaborative studio is very in scope and scale with both designers having their hand in multiple areas of interest. Okay. Stop. Thank you.